Hello everyone and welcome back to the Movie Couple channel and on today's Movie Couple Eats Quick Bites we are uh, trying a variety of different things but this is also the day where we in the smallest shortest span of span of time spent the most money that I can recall on food alone like mm -hmm. this is I mean and at different places too yeah so today um when you're watching this it'll be later but today is the 26th so that is when the mcdonald's bts meal comes out if you want to see that you can check out our live stream link it for you right up here um where we get to taste the, uh i mean it's just chicken nuggets but the sauces it's all about the sauces but that's not BTS what we're gonna sauce. smooth like butter <laughs> But today we are going to try the Korean style hot dogs and the place is called, oh gosh, I totally don't, they have, so the store that we went to um, has two different names. They go by either Mochi Nut uh, or they go by Chung, I'm going to just put it right here for you guys so because I'm going to mispronounce it. But we did get two different types of hot dog. Mine does have a little bit of spice in it. So as you can tell, it is crusted by potatoes on the outside. There is a little bit of sugar because the uh, the cashier said that, like in Korea, traditionally, they put a little bit of sugar on it. She's like, is that how you want it? And I'm so like, you well, you're sweet and savory yes, together. Why not? We also got a couple of sauces. We got a sriracha mayo and a cheddar cheese. And Dustin has in his hand the regular hot dog, but, uh, but it doesn't ramen. have, yeah, it has ramen on the outside, so it's extra crispy. It's also not spicy. And I don't think it has mozzarella inside where mine is spicy and half mozzarella inside. Before we go into the hot dogs, I also wanted to show you the mochi nuts and you'll see a photo of them right now. So the first time we ever had a mochi donut was in Tokyo when we went, or no, it was in Taiwan. In the, yeah. in the food court. And they're, you know, kind of, they're circular, but they are also kind of like little balls. Mm -hmm. um, and they're, they're a little bit more like tacky and chewy in a good way. Yes. Uh, and, and it's a little bit more like, I don't We haven't know, had these since... Bouncy? In the, in the texture? Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of... It's like, what is it? They also have like those waff like those uh, Korean waffles, too, that have like the bumps in them instead yeah. of the indentations. And it has but that two same... completely different tastes. Yes. We also got some Korean coffee. I have to admit, this coffee, it, it has a kick to it. I but love it. what they do, it's like really, really strong coffee, but yet it's so smooth and creamy. Mm. Really delicious. Um, I, you guys know I love my coffee, so I'm very excited that we got a whole spread of food right here. So with that said, Dustin, which one do you want to start with? Let's take a bite of the hot dog. They're, those okay. hot dogs are just staring at me. So we're going to go with the potato and uh, they call it like the half and half. Okay, so I'm going to try it first without the sauce. And then we're going to try it with the sauce. Listen mm. to that crunch. That is crunchy. Oh my God, with the sugar on it? Who knew it was going to be so good? Oh, really? Okay, okay. You got me excited now. I didn't get any of the hot dog because I just got the... Just a tip. <laughs> but it's good. Okay, my turn. That's an ASMR hot dog. Mm-hmm. I didn't get any of the hot dog either. Maybe there's no hot dog inside. Mm. Oh. It's good, huh? Mm-hmm. That sweet and savory does go very well together. The sugar is so good on the hot dog. I'm kind of regretting not putting it on the ramen one. Mm-hmm. Like, who knew? Because it's not overpowering. You just get, like, a very subtle hint of the sugar, and then it makes the rest of the hot dog, like the potato and the cheese and the crust, um, stand out just a little bit. But we're going to now dip it into our sriracha mayo. I think it's going to taste a lot better with some kind of sauce on it. It's good, but it does need a little something something on there. So I'm essentially eating a giant mozzarella stick. Yeah. With crispy potato on the outside. It's delicious. It's great with or without the sauce. Mmm. Gonna dunk it in a little bit more in the sauce here. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, I personally wow, wow, think wow. that it is a little bit better with the sauce. I could get used to eating these a little bit more often. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and dive into the ramen hot dog. And this, I believe, does have the hot dog inside. There's no mozzarella in this one. And as you can tell, crusted on the outside with ramen. Mmm. 
Oh, yeah, I can see the hot dog on that mm. one now. It needs the sugar on the outside, I feel like. Oh, really? So maybe next time, get both sugar of them with... The... And now we'll try it with the, the cheddar cheese sauce. I like the potato one better, but mm -hmm. this is really good. I'm just curious because I'm really excited to see how this hot dog tastes. So first, without the cheddar cheese. Mmm. I think if we would have gotten a hot dog... In the potato one, that would be absolutely perfect. Now dunk it in the cheddar. Ooh, the cheddar cheese. All right, let's test this out. Mmm. Pretty good, right? With the mm -hmm. sauce, yeah. I think the best one would definitely be the potato one with the hot dog in it. And maybe... The sriracha mayo. Mm -hmm. that, the, that, that that combination just seems like it would be the best way to go. And there's so many choices that they have there, too. Yeah, they have, I think, a total of 10 different styles of hot dogs. Some are spicy, some are not. A lot of other sauces that they offer, these are just the two that we happened to pick. So we're like, oh, we don't know. They kind of, they kind of, they didn't prepare us when we ordered. And so when we picked up the hot dog, because these took about eight, nine minutes to make, they were like, okay, what sauce would you like? We're like, so sauce? What sauce? <laughs> so now I am going to try the ramen hot dog with the sriracha mayo and give it a go. I don't think the sriracha mayo tastes great on the ramen one. Hmm. Let me see. There's something about the cheddar cheese that made it taste better. But I think having like maybe like a um, kind of like a Thousand Island dip mm. to go with this would go really well. Mm -hmm. Or maybe some ranch. Mm. I don't want to fill up too much because I want to try out some donuts. We did get six different varieties. There's like honey butter. There's a cafe au lait. There's taro. There's churro, there's a chocolate one, and the other one, I maybe Like original just, and glazed. Yeah, original and glazed. So which one do you want to go with first, Dustin? I want to try that taro. Okay. So this is the taro topped with fruity pebbles. And what's kind of cool is you guys can see, you can really see the little dots, the balls, which makes it really easy to, oh, split in half. Oh, wow. perfect. It's like perforated donuts. Perfect for splitting. Dink. Oh, wait, I was about ready to take a bite. Oh. oh, oh, these are so uh -oh. soft and oh my God. This is, imagine the s fluffiest dough that you can deep fry and oh my God, this is amazing. My taste buds doesn't know what's happening. I love <laughs> it. I'm in heaven. Goodbye to all the other donuts that I've known before mm -hmm. and hello to mochi nut this is basically the only kind of donut i'm gonna want to eat now mm -hmm. what in the heck it's so good it, there's this that mochi if you've ever tasted mochi before there is that slightly tacky sticky but it doesn't stick to the roof of your mouth it doesn't stick to your teeth it's just like a little sticky tacky sensation but there's a subtle sweetness that comes through that's kind of like an undertone to it with the dough it mixes really well and it makes it like really uh, it won't do it on here it has a little bit of a crunch like crispiness crispiness on the outside but then you as you get through it it's super i don't want to use the word bouncy because people are going to be like what how can you it's describe not... food as bouncy but it bounces like the texture mm -hmm. in taiwan we call a texture like this qq oh okay for, for, for all my my taiwanese peeps out there qq but this is delicious Mm -hmm. There's a firmness to the outside mm -hmm. and it has that crunch to it. And then the, yeah, the inside is just nice and soft and... Uh, oh. oh my God, it's so good. What an actual donut. This is delicious. And if you guys ever are in the area and you visit a mochi nut um, location, because I don't think they're only like in, in this area. Yeah. I think they're, they're all over. So just check their Insta. But they do different um, variations a day. So there's like six, one, two, three. Yeah, there's six different flavors a day. So I would just suggest get the six, get the half dozen, maybe two. Mm -hmm. You might as well get the two, get the full dozen. So get two boxes because you're not going to be able to stop eating these. And mm -mm. they feel, mm -hmm. texture wise, these donuts feel much lighter than your. Um, traditional donut mm -hmm. it's like the cake donuts very heavy doughy so like usually after half because i have a small stomach after half i'm like Oof, i'm done or i need to chase it with either like a little bit of milk or a little bit of coffee mm -hmm. um 
but sweet. these are the flavor is is there it's present and it is sweet but it's not like slap you in the face sweet where you know how you eat too much sugar you feel like you need to wash your face or something yeah. like that it doesn't have that it's this i can probably myself alone can put away an entire box of six which it, is saying a lot it also has the uh, flavor of a funnel cake um, because of the fried dough, but it doesn't have like, you know, when you have a few bites of funnel cake, you feel like you've kind of swallowed a brick in your stomach. And you're like, oh, I'm going to feel that later. Even though you can tell that the inside of it is still, you know, it's it has a lot of dough in there and it's nice and soft. It is not heavy. It is really really good and oh i love me goodness. my donuts so i think i have found a new favorite donut immediately well more. we can try one more do you okay. want to i chose one more you chose taro mm -hmm. i think i want to try the honey butter okay there's a dog on my lap <laughs> Bye, Navi. you cannot have a donut no you cannot you are not oh she's like but i want mommy oh her eyes were huge no you she's cannot like... have you cannot have i give you a little <laughs> t-word later how do they make these do they have a little piping bag that they do oh there's powder sugar everywhere <laughs> that they like pipe out i want to see the the process of like the making it yeah Okay, so we're going to assume, I just thought this one looked like glaze, but I'm going to assume that this is honey butter, and we're going to go ahead and split this in half because it's easy to do. I love, that's one thing I love Perforated about Perforated donuts, guys. And plus, it's very satisfying to kind of just like eat one ball at a time kind of a thing. You're just kind of like, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull out, I'm just going to have one more ball, just one more. Tink. Tink. Okay. If the Krispy Kreme Hot and Ready, put the Krispy Kreme Hot and Ready donut in a mochi nut form, that's what it is. A little bit more of a honey flavor to it mm -hmm. as opposed to like the glaze. But yeah, yeah um, you getting, you're getting the sweetness of the dough with just a whisper of honey mm. and they go together very well. I will say right now the taro for me is still the front runner. Yeah. But that's still really good. Okay, so we made a tiny little mistake on the Korean hot dogs, which now thinking back, that's probably why they called it half and half, because it was half cheese, half um, hot dog. Hot dog. So like the so top part. So the potato part, one has hot dog in it. Yeah, the top part is cheese, the bottom part is hot dog. Mmm. Does it taste better with the potato? Yes. I love it. Ooh, with the hot dog? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. I'm, I'm, I'm excited now to have hot dog and the potato. Mm-hmm. Mm oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's the and way to go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is actually great because now we kind of got two and one. And definitely go with the potato and the hot dog. Yeah. I think, I think that's the best way to go out of what we got. Delicious. So we realized in the last video, we never actually filmed us tasting the rest of the donuts. So, you know, this just gave us another reason to go back to Mochina and get, and get some, some more. more. So the flavors you are seeing right now are Okinawa milk tea, guava, churro, origino, ube latte, and custard pudding. And of course, Dustin was nice enough to pick up another one of these Korean iced coffees because now I am obsessed. <laughs> they do have a really nice flavor to them. <laughs> yeah. And the lady asked me, because you said, just get me a Korean coffee. And she says, oh, do you want it to be this, this, or this? Like hot, iced, or something else. What was and the she, something said, else? she said, she uh, said, oh, go with the, I was like, oh, shoot, she didn't, Wendy didn't say. So she was like, go with the iced one. That's probably the best. Yeah, So I, I want to so see too. what this best one tastes like now. Well, it's the same thing we had last time, though. Is it? Yeah, it's the exact same thing. I like it. It's so good. good. So uh, now we're just going to eat one ball each instead of like four, four, four mochi nut ball each. So which one, Dustin, do you want to start with? Well, why don't we start with the upper left and upper work left. our way around. Well, so this is the milk tea this one. This is the milk tea one, and we're just going to... Pull off like... Two I'm little having, bowls. I'm having trouble. I'm just going to do one. We got We got to get through six. Well, of them. one for you, one for me. Mm. One for right now. Oh, I just tasted the cream. Oh, you did? Dink. Mm-hmm. Mm. My goodness. Oh, that's so good. It really tastes like they poured milk tea over the top. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I like that. And it's just also the fact that the dough is just so 
chewy and gooey and mm -hmm. tasty and I really, really like it. So they could almost put anything on there. <laughs> And we'll love it. And I'll be like, oh, that's good. Even if it's just plain. Yeah. And what's cool is that this location does um, a different set of flavors every two days. And now they're back to opening seven days a week. Um, for a while, they were only operating weekdays only. So this is like really exciting. Well, with that said, we're going to go ahead and dive on to the next one, which is the guava. And they guava. have this interesting, it looks like mango on top. So I'm kind of confused. It might be guava on top. Do you want it? That's a mango, baby. Yeah, that's mango. Pink. Ooh. Hmm. Mm. Guava actually goes really well with that. Mm-hmm. You guys ever have like the 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 Cuban pastelitos, the um, with guava and, and cheese inside? Mm. It's like oh, that, yeah. but a little bit lighter. Obviously, because mm -hmm. it's guava, also, but a little bit lighter, and then put that on top of the bouncy mochi nut texture. It's mm -hmm. so good. On to the next, we're doing, this is the churro one, which is also the ones that we got last time, but who cares? It's good. Dink. Dink. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Churro goes really good with this. Mm. It tastes like a mochi churro. Like if you had like, instead of like how a churro is a little bit more crispy, if it was a little bit more hollow, not hollow, but um, doughy on the inside. That's exactly what this would taste like. I forgot how good <laughs> the churro is. Ah, and then following that, we're gonna go ahead and grab the original, which is just the we we said last time it. Um, oh no, we said that about the honey butter that it was like a Krispy Kreme hot and ready. Oh yeah, that's it. right. So I'm gonna remind myself what this tastes like. Oh, dink. Oh, I'm sorry. Mmm. It's very, no, it's, it's very, very original, light. very yeah. basic. I would say it, it definitely is the one that that doesn't make you go ooh but for anybody who wants to try sweets but don't you know how there's some people who just don't love sweets mm -hmm. this is light and fluffy and it's just got like a light dusting of powdered sugar on top so your taste buds won't be like punched up by any sort of like sugariness <laughs> well, so, so that's far, a safe one for you to get all of these have not been overly sweet this is i do have to true. admit this is true i don't know how they do it because it's just like right just enough so you can have more <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm very excited for the next one. It's the ube latte. It's purple. It looks really pretty, and I love me some ube. So here we go. Ube. Ube. Mm. Ooh. I like that. Mmm. Mmm. That one's my like, Ooh. And when it really mixes with the dough. Why are all the purple ones good? The taro <laughs> from last time was good, and that was purple. Mm -hmm. Ube purple also good. Mmm. Maybe whenever they do a purple donut, we just get that one. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that might I be my really favorite like out of the batch. I have to admit, yeah, I'm right there with you. That yeah. ube one is really good. Mm. It's like nice and creamy, that subtleness of ube coming through. Mm -hmm. But again, not too sweet, so you can have 50 million if you want. And also ube and the, te the taste of the dough yeah, just go mochi. really well together. All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to our final one, which is the... Custard, right? It's yeah, the milk it's custard or something custard, like that. Custard pudding. Custard pudding. That's gonna be interesting, I think. Think. Hmm. This one actually sticks to your teeth a little bit. Mm-hmm. Don't love that. It has a little bit more of like a maple leaf kind of flavor. It's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. it. It is a lot. It is probably out of all of them the sweetest one. Yeah. So if you're into this, like, you know, something a little bit sweeter, that's the one. I'd say, not saying any of them are bad, but I will say that's my least favorite mm -hmm. out of all of them. Well, honestly, but they're I all good. Really, for me, I actually really like that one because it really reminds me of, like, a good, rich maple donut. Maybe I just need like another that. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's all an excuse just to eat another one. I see what you're doing. Fine. I can, I need another one. I need a second taste as well. But it doesn't yeah. do it for me. It really does. Stick to your teeth. Stick to your teeth a little bit more because it has. Maybe I that's what I don't like about it. Mmm. Because all the other ones are so lighter mm. and fluffier. And this but one. I still like it. Still I could good. eat. I could eat a couple of those. Though, that too. one would fill me up. The sugar and the level in that one would mm -hmm. be like a good equivalent of like a, your your normal donut, where I'd be like. All right, enough. Like, I'm done. Yeah. But the other ones are so good. Light, fluffy. The churro, the ube, and the Okinawa milk tea, I would say, is my in my top 
running oh, yeah. out of this batch. What about you? Um, definitely the ube. I think you have to go with the ube and the... Oh, I like the guava. The guava's good. I liked the, just the, the hint of the gua of guava because one of my favorite pastries is what we get at... Um, yeah, the pastelito. The pastelito. Oh, I love those. Those are like my favorite... And I'll eat a I'll eat a dozen of those just for breakfast, <laughs> kind of a thing. So good. Like and when it I gives lived me in Florida, a nice little reminder of it. Yeah, yeah, it really does. But like in it with a, in it with a little twist. Mm -hmm. So that is the end of uh, this episode of Movie Couple Eats Quick Bites, uh, kind of featuring the mochi nut and the uh, Korean rice hot dogs that use rice flour. So just in case anybody was curious about that, but you can go ahead and visit mochi nut. Just I like I will type it in on your Instagram, and you'll see all the different locations pop up, or you can go to their website. Hashtag not sponsored. We just saw this driving by 50 million times. We're finally one day. We're like, what is that? We gotta go there. Let's go. Look it up on Google. You can find the one that's closest to you. Yeah, they have many, many locations. So check them out. I'm not sure if all the stores rotate the flavors as much as this one does. So just make sure you check with your location um, before you head out. Uh, but let us know in the comments if you tried mochi donuts before. What are some of your favorites? What are some of the other foods you'd like to see us try? Put that on in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!